Hello there. It's good to see you. And as you can probably tell by my lovely hat, I've been shopping again. <laughs> I'm really in love with this hat. I found it and I thought that it would be good for a role play, possibly uh, for uh, Scarlet. When she gets back from her quote unquote vacation, she could wear this hat as uh, she talks about her, her time away. So this is a hat that I got and I actually went to two different thrift stores. I went to Goodwill and then I went to my favorite thrift store, which is um, not Goodwill, has a different name. Um, and so some of this stuff came from Goodwill and some of it came from the other thrift store. This one came from the other one. Uh, I went there, I want to say last Saturday, but then tonight while my son was in Taekwondo class, I went to Goodwill and I got some other stuff that I want to show you. So the first thing is this hat, which is just so much fun. I love this hat. See, and it has these um, red mesh pieces that come off the sides like this, and they're attached to the hat. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> I've actually been wearing this hat around the house for the last half hour because <laughs> it's so fun. But you see, this is a um, this is a Betmar hat, and it looks like something you would wear. I don't know on safari or something it's just kind of kind of interesting look to it and it's um looks like it would be very breathable you know keep your keep your head from getting too hot and we have this nice mesh here and it looks like somebody bought this from thread up because i left the tag on see it has a thread up tag and it says renewed with love in san francisco so I haven't actually removed that yet. So I have this hat, which I like very much. <laughs> and this I would actually wear out somewhere, probably. So that's the first thing. Um, and when I was at my favorite thrift store, I did buy some jewelry. Um, I'll show you that next. Because every time I go in there, I always look at the jewelry because they have, they always have a lot of really nice stuff. And I bought several things. I didn't buy as much as I normally do, but one of the pieces I bought was this. It is, as you can see, it's sort of a wide band um, bracelet, and it's elastic, so you can stretch it. And it has these little pink and white pieces interspersed throughout with silver beads, and they look like little eyeballs to me. And I still have the little paper tag on here. I haven't removed any of the tags yet because I'm lazy. <laughs> But it's a stretch bracelet. Looks like it was handmade. Kind of like a cuff bracelet almost. But it's very flexible. And I just think it's really cool. So that's the first thing. The second bracelet uh, is really interesting. This took this took quite this took some doing. Um, but this is the second one, and I, I don't think I would ever actually wear this. Um, I might, I don't know, but you can see it's made out of uh, aluminum can pull tabs, like you would find on a on a beer can or a soda can, and it's held together with purple elastic, so it is slightly stretchy, not super stretchy. It's kind of big, and see, it's it's um I don't know that I would ever wear it. I just thought it was really neat, and it was ninety nine cents. So, kind of like Macklemore's song, Thrift Shop says, <laughs> it was 99 cents. <laughs> so I thought that was cool. And these are some earrings that I thought were really neat. And they're already clip-ons. And they're also still on the paper. Let me take one off so I can show them to you a little better. These are quite festive. To me, they almost look like fireworks. See, here's one right here. And they have these blue stones with these gold beads. And then you have the clip-on back part. These were $1.99. And the orange tags were full price this past Saturday. There was no discount for the orange tags. Um, but I thought $2 wasn't bad for these earrings. I thought they were really pretty. See, they're they're quite large. I mean, they hang down probably a good two, two and a half inches. So these these earrings are not for the faint of heart. 
you know, I, <clears throat> typically I do wear earrings that kind of hang down because that's just what I like. And those certainly fit that description. I thought it was pretty. They had these different color blue, <coughs> sorry, plastic beads in here. And then they have some that are clear. So I thought these were pretty. And I got this neat bracelet. This one is really, really cool. It's almost like, it kind of reminds me of a Hawaiian lei, but it's a bracelet. And this one was half price. Um, it has 99 cents on here, so this was 50 cents. <laughs> and um, it has these, it almost looks like light green flower petals. Very lovely. They're, um, they're fabric. They're made of some kind of, um, some kind of fabric. And then we have these pearl pieces here that are clear, but they're light green. Really pretty. And then, of course, mixed in between the, the fabric petals are these clear light green beads. And they're all plastic beads. And it just looks like a Hawaiian lei for your wrist. <laughs> really cool and then I found this ring and I'm gonna go ahead and take the price tag off let's see this was a dollar ninety nine with and it had a pink tag so that means it was half price so this was a dollar and it's it's faded I mean it's you know you can see uh, it's dark most of it is kind of this black color but then you can see here where that it's it's come off and faded a bit and I could possibly wear it. Yeah, I can wear it there. Um, it has these black, I guess it's like black rhinestones in it. And it cut, you know, it goes from knuckle to knuckle, so it's a pretty good size. And I really, I really like it. It's shiny, but it's, it's shiny but dark at the same time. Um, but yeah, it almost looks like it has copper underneath. I don't know who made this. It doesn't say. But it does look like this part is copper. It may not be. I don't know. But it does kind of look like copper. And then this one just, um, just a little tiny, just a cute little flower ring. Honestly, I think this was like 25 cents. <laughs> and it's just a little basic flower. See, it's nothing special. It's just a little cute little flower and I only bought one necklace this time and this one has still has, has a little uh, metal piece on it it was made by New York and company this one also had a pink tag and so this was originally $2.99 so I got it for a dollar fifty cents and it's pretty basic we have down here at the very bottom we have this piece the rest of it is more plain. The beads are plastic, but they look like glass. And probably when I wear this, I would double it and wear it short. Like I might try to, um, well, actually, I don't know if I could do that or not. I might have to put the main centerpiece in the back and wear it like this, just so it's higher up. I'm not... I typically don't wear super long necklaces just because um, I work in an office and I, am, I have to get up and down a lot from my desk and, and it seems like when I wear a long necklace it's always clanging on the desk and I don't like that so um, it just gets in the way so typically I wear shorter necklaces um, so that is all the jewelry that I got and I got that at my favorite thrift store last Saturday I, I don't normally buy jewelry at Goodwill um, a lot of times they don't really have much and the jewelry that they do have sometimes in my opinion is a bit overpriced so it has to be something really special and sometimes I do buy something if I think it's really really neat but I did find this at Goodwill tonight and this just cracked me up <laughs> I thought of y'all when I saw it because um I remember um 
In the video where Lynette was talking about Scarlet, she said that Scarlet sounded like Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> and here he is. And you can see the Chicken Hawk and Foghorn Leghorn are playing tennis. Here's the Chicken Hawk. And then he's hitting a bomb over to Foghorn Leghorn and Foghorn Leghorn is freaking out because he didn't use the tennis balls like he was supposed to. <laughs> and Foghorn Leghorn is just like, oh my God. <laughs> This was made by, um, I remember they had these at Hardee's, which is a fast food uh, chain where I live. And they had these at Hardee's when I was a kid. And we had the whole set. And I'm guessing we had this one too. They had all the different Warner, Bo uh, Warner Brothers uh, Looney Tunes characters on these, on these glasses, these drinking glasses. And you could get them. They would have a different one every week, and you would go in, and you could get one. I don't remember how much they were, but it's the, the Pepsi Collector Series. Uh, copyright Warner Brothers, Incorporated, 1976. And I got it for $0.69, cents, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm not going to sell it. I'm actually going to keep it. <laughs> I don't have any more of these. I don't know what happened to all the ones we had when I was a kid. We had, a, I think we had all of them. And we used to use them. It's possible they just got broken or faded out by the dishwasher. I don't know. But I, I, I do believe we had the whole set. But we used them. I mean, we didn't put them up somewhere to save them or anything. We just used them like our regular glasses. So it's very possible we broke them all. I don't know. I don't know whatever happened to them. I'd ask my mom about that. I know she doesn't have them anymore. I don't think she does. I don't remember seeing them at her house. And I know my dad doesn't have them. So, um, but I'm going to keep this and we'll just use it along with our regular glasses. Um, now, the other things I have are kind of down here on the floor beside me. I want to show you one thing. Um, I got this for my younger son because he loves trains. And I thought he would really like this. This is um, just a basic canvas, and I'm sure this is some mass-produced item. Um, there's nothing on the back, but I'm pretty sure this somebody bought this in a retail store. I don't think anybody made this by hand at home. And you can see down here it says all aboard, and it has a, a train on it, and the little light is lit up. And uh, it has this wide blue border. There's no frame. It's just a canvas uh, stretched across some press board, basically. <laughs> uh, and it has a, a thin off-white border outside of the blue. And then this green here. And this was $3.99. And my son loved it. He thought it was awesome. So tomorrow we're going to hang this up in his room somewhere. He thought this was great. Um, okay, and I also got these pants. I think I'm going to keep these. I like these. This is a pair of kind of like uh, dress capri pants, and they were made by uh, Ann Taylor Loft. And they're, they're a flat front. They have a zipper on the side, and then they have two pockets on the back. Mm. They don't have any side pockets, which it seems like most of my pants and stuff I wear to work, and they never have pockets. I don't know why, but I love the color. It's sort of a turquoise color with these diamonds and then black, and it's a textured fabric. It has a nice feel to it. Um, has a bit of stretch. I think there's some lycra in this fabric. I'm not sure. I'd have to find the tag. Um, yeah, 98% cotton, 2% spandex. I sell a lot of clothes on eBay. I can learn usually by the feel what they're made of. I'm usually right. Um, but they're short. So you can see they're, they're not terribly long. So I could wear these to work. Um, probably, we wear, probably wear these with um, black heels. And I also have um, a black... Uh, sleeveless mock turtleneck that I would probably wear with this and the jewelry I'd have to look through what I have I'm not sure what I would wear for the jewelry but 
um, yeah, I'm going to wash these and wear them to work probably next week. If they fit. I haven't actually tried them on yet. <laughs> but these are for me. More than likely. And these are... These are some uh, uh, spandex type black yoga pants. They are straight leg. They're not boot cut or anything like that. They're not tight on the leg and they were made by Calvin Klein Performance. And you can see that they have their name on the back. Right there. And they are quick dry according to this. And I actually already have a pair of these so I'm not going to keep these. Um, I'll probably put these on eBay. Well, the stitching is very nice. It has really good quality stitching. It has a wide waistband, which I really like. It's very comfortable. I wear these to the gym. Well, not this pair, but the pair I have, I wear them to the gym, and they're really comfortable. The, the waistband doesn't roll down. You know, I do a lot of stretching exercises and things, and the waistband stays right where it's supposed to, and I like them a lot. So yeah, if I didn't already have a pair, I might actually keep these for myself, but I don't really need them, so I'll probably sell those. And this was really cool. They had just brought out a rack of clothes when I got there. And um, that this was on the rack that they brought out. And it was really nice. Um, this is a Columbia Fleece Full Zip Men's uh, Jacket. I guess you could call it a fleece jacket. Um, it's a size large and it has the Carolina the Tar Heels logo right here. It's embroidered on. This is a very nice embroidered logo and then it has the Columbia logo on the other side and then when you turn it around and look at the back it has Carolina back here really big and that is also embroidered all of that is uh, embroidery and I don't think this has ever been worn I'm telling you I'm looking at it I don't think anybody ever wore this I think a lot of times people get things as presents and then they just stick them in a closet or something and then they just never wear it and eventually when they clean out the closet they just get rid of it but this one has on the shoulders it has that soft I'm not really sure what it's called but, and it also goes down the arms down the sleeves it has this soft shell fabric it's not the fleece fabric it's a little different but it's, it's very smooth I like I love the way that feels I have a North Face jacket that has this on it and I just I'll just pet it like a cat it's really sad <laughs> but it just feels good you know I think people with ASMR just I, I think there's a connection between ASMR and the tactile stimulation just I like the way these things feel they're just like there's certain types of leather leather jackets that in the, the smooth like butter the leather jackets. I'll just pet it. If I find one in the thrift store, I'll just pet it. Because <laughs> it feels so good. Uh, but anyway, sorry. <laughs> this jacket has a zippable sleeve <clears throat> or a little pocket on the left sleeve. Little thing in here. You could put stuff in if you wanted to. It is not lined, but it's really cool. If it were a little smaller, I might keep it for myself. I thought it was neat. <laughs> so, that was $4.99. And then I found these denim shorts for men. And they are big. <laughs> these are uh, Ed Hardy denim shorts. They're size 44 and they are, they have a button fly and it says Semper Paredes over the left pocket. And then it has Ed embroidered there. And on this pocket we have some pretty exquisite embroidery here. You can see that it has a skull on it right here 
and you know if you're familiar with Ed Hardy stuff it's you know, they have lots of over-the-top <laughs> uh, designs typically and these pants these these jeans are, are these shorts are no exception and while I was on that aisle I also found a pair of swimming trunks for men and these are cool. You know, I'd love to have a shirt made out of this this fabric. I just think it's pretty. It's a pair of um, men's Nautica swimming trunks. So you can see on the back we have this pocket here. And it has the uh, Nautica uh, logo right here. These are a size extra, extra large. And they have a mesh lining inside. And then they have a flat front with a drawstring in red. And they have all these pretty saltwater fish all over them. So I thought maybe somebody going on an end of the summer cruise might like to buy those from me. Those will definitely be going on eBay. I don't even know anybody that size. And I found, um, I went through and looked at the scrubs. I didn't find much. I did find actually um, a scrub top, and this is a Grey's Anatomy, and it's a women's 5XL. I don't think I've ever actually found one this big or this size. It's uh, navy blue, and it's really nice. I mean, it has no pilling on it or anything. It's really cool. And it was made in the USA. That's actually kind of unusual. Most of them were made in Vietnam. Um, but it's made out of a, um, a cotton rayon blend that I recognize instantly if I go through the If I go through the scrubs and just feel them. I know a Grey's Anatomy Item as soon as I feel it. It just feels different So as soon as I grabbed the sleeve of sleeve of that one, I knew what I had And then I found two pairs of Grey's Anatomy scrub pants in navy blue. They are both a size 4XL probably donated by the same person uh, and then they have a partial elastic waistband in the back and a drawstring in the front. And it seems like most of Grey's Anatomy, the, the Grey's Anatomy scrub pants are made that way. Um, so that you don't see, you don't see the elastic in the front. It makes the front, I think, just look neater and cleaner just to have the drawstring and not the elastic gathers. But you can see on the back. Uh, on the pocket there will be a little Grey's Anatomy tag and it's gray and the script is in a darker gray and I actually found two pairs just like this which was wonderful so I will be selling those what I'll do I'll probably take one the one pair of the pants and then the shirt and put those together and sell those together as a set and then I'll sell the, sell the other pair of pants separately I think that would probably work the best, so that's probably what I'll do. And this is for me, just because I thought it was pretty. Although the cat got a hold of it and sort of picked it a little bit, but I can think I, think I can fix that. It is this beautiful <laughs> pink lace scarf. Look at that. And it has tassels, pretty tassels on both ends. Um, I will have to be careful with this, especially now that I have a cat, <laughs> because she will try to grab these and play with them, because <laughs> she loves that. She thinks everything's a toy, <laughs> even my hair <laughs> and my earrings, as I found out earlier this evening. <laughs> um, so I have this pretty scarf. It's definitely not going to keep me warm, but it's very pretty. <laughs> I, have, I have some other pink scarves, but they're more of a... Um, like a washed out pastel pink. This is a little more vivid. It's kind of might be hard to tell in this light, but it's um it's a it's a more vivid pink than some of the ones I have. So and I could wear this around my neck or around my waist or just, you know, however. So I like that. And this dress. Oh I found this dress at my favorite thrift store and it broke my heart. The heartbreak of the thrift store is that um, when you find something you really like and it doesn't fit you, you're usually out of luck if it's not your size. 
and this dress was not my size and I was so sad because I really liked it. I desperately wanted this dress to fit. Um, but I decided even if it didn't fit, I would still keep it because I could probably get about $30 for this on eBay and I think I paid $4 for it. Um, this, I love this dress. I love it. I can't, I, I can't get it all in here because it's, um, it's a full length. I mean, it goes all the way down. A full length dress. And this is a vintage dress. But look, I want to show you up close. I want to show you this pattern to this fabric. It has so many different shades of blue in it and green, actually. And this is the sleeve. And I love this kind of a sleeve. It's a flared sleeve, as you can see. But um, it opens up. It's sort of like a three-quarter sleeve. But this hangs all the way down. And there's a little tie right here. And um, it zips up in the back. And this is a Alfred Shaheen dress uh, from Waikiki, Hawaii. And the size tag was cut out, so I wasn't really sure what size it was. And I'm still not sure. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. It's way too tight right in here, right under my arms. And um, I guess I could get it altered, but you know, honestly, I already have more dresses than I know what to do with. I don't really feel like paying whatever it would cost to go get this altered. So um, I think I'm going to let it go. I have, I have way too much anyway in my closet. I really don't need any more dresses. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I love, I love this dress. It has a jewel neckline. Um, yeah, okay. I guess you call that a jewel neckline. But I believe this is a vintage dress. Most of the Alfred Shaheem, sh I don't know how, I'm probably not saying it right, but most of the dresses by this person that I found online on eBay were, it, it, most of them said they were vintage, so I'm thinking maybe this one is too, but I don't know for sure. But, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to let it go. I still really like it, though. <clears throat> oh, and I got another dress. This dress I actually got tonight, and it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me, uh, but it's cute. This is actually for a girl. This is a girl size 12. And uh, this was made by uh, Curtain Call Costumes. And it's just adorable. I'll show you. <laughs> it is like a ballerina costume. It has the full skirt, as you can see here. and has the beautiful black ribbon trim on it. It's very full. And underneath, it has built-in... Uh, frilly panties so you can just wear this you don't have to wear anything under it I guess you just wear this this is like a bodysuit I guess and look at that look how pretty that is that's so beautiful and then we again we have the black trim here and then the back is just plain right there and you just pull it on I guess you just I guess you basically just step into it because you can't pull it on over your head so and it has these thin adjustable straps right here. And I just thought this was the cutest little thing. And with Halloween coming up, I went ahead and got this. I actually have several kids costumes that I'm going to list for Halloween. And I will definitely list this one very soon. <laughs> but it's just, I thought this was so cute. <laughs> this big full skirt. I'll tell you what, if I could find one of my size, I would totally buy it and I would wear it for Halloween. <laughs> I would. But that dress just looks like a lot of fun. And the last thing I want to show you, um, <clears throat> I found this at my favorite thrift store and I just, I just love it. And anybody, ASMR people would appreciate this. My son saw it and just said, oh God, not another one. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> This is a real painting in a nice wooden frame. And I love the colors of this. I just, I love the colors of this painting. You can see on the back where it was put together. And we have a wire piece here to hold it. I don't know yet where I'm going to put it. 
it is obviously a Bob Ross style painting. Let's see, we have like one of his little rocks here and his trees and the water and of course the mountain here. Oh, I think Bob would be very impressed with this. <laughs> but um, I got this at my favorite thrift store. It was $10, which I didn't think was bad for a framed picture. Sorry, I'm trying to hold it level. <laughs> um, but I was really glad to find this. I think I'm actually going to put it in my sunroom, which is my eBay room. And I already have another picture in there that is painted in the same style. It's actually very similar to this one, so um, yeah, I think I'll put it in, in my sunroom. So, that, you know, I just, I love this. I just, I was so glad to find this. I don't want to touch it because it is, it's a real painting. It's not a print or anything, so I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to go, I'm going to hang that up later. Uh, but I was happy to find that. I thought that was really pretty. So that is everything I have at this point. I'm trying not to buy a lot because in the next few weeks I'm going to be getting out my ugly Christmas sweaters and my Halloween sweaters and my Thanksgiving sweaters and getting those ready to list on eBay. So I, I really don't want to add to my stacks of stuff to be listed. I'm really trying to not buy much. So, um, But that's all I have right now. So I wanted to show it to you before I put everything away and you know put it where it belongs so but I hope you enjoyed my video and my haul I probably won't be buying a whole lot uh, at thrift stores in the next little while just because I'm trying so hard to work on listing all the stuff I already have I have a lot of stuff to be listed so I'm trying to get through all the sweaters right now so I'm trying not to add more stuff to my list my stacks of things to be listed but thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again sometime